what's up you guys and welcome back to gal in this video i'm showing you how to put video inside of text to create an interesting lyric video and i was inspired to show you guys this effect by five seconds of summer's most recent lyric video teeth so you can see the video is inside of the text and it's very dynamic and interesting and it's a common tool used by a lot of different editors so i've created lots of different effects on music videos on this channel you can check out those other episodes to learn how you can improve your music video Video edits going forward. And if you guys are new to this channel, I create weekly video editing, production, photo, and audio tutorials to help you become a better creator. So if you're interested in upping your game when it comes to creative effects, you guys should definitely consider subscribing. Now, because music is copyrighted on YouTube, it's a tricky area. So I cannot use the song from Five Seconds of Summer. What I'm using instead is music from Musicbed. Now, Musicbed, hands down, has some of the best music out there for YouTube creators and for filmmakers in general. And I reached out to them and they sponsored this video. So what you can do using my link in the description is you can sign up for a 30 day free trial to get unlimited music that you can use for different projects. And if you're having trouble finding music, of course you can reach out to the Musicbed team and they'd be happy to curate a music list for you. So the way it works is once you find a track that you like, for example, in this video, I chose Do You Want Me by The Roosevelts and I've downloaded it and it automatically created a license for my YouTube channel. It was that easy. So if you guys are interested in trying out Musicbed, go ahead and sign up for a 30 day trial using my link in the description. Thanks so much Musicbed for supporting this video and let's go ahead and jump on in. So what I've done here is I have taken a snippet of the song, Do You Want Me by the Roosevelts, which I got from the Musicbed library and I've placed it here in the timeline. So we can listen back, you can hear the lyrics that we are going to animate. So let's go back to the beginning here. And the guy says, I see the way. And so you're going to use the type tool here to type out the first word. And you're going to type out each word individually. You'll see that I appears over here as its own layer in the essential graphics panel. Just click underneath that and then go back here to type out the second word. So that way the word is on its own separate layer. So I see, and then once again, the way. And then what you can do is you can go back to the selection tool and you can move these around until it gets into the orientation that you like. You can scale them up. So if you wanted to make this 150%, you can certainly do that. Same with this one, 150% and start to move them around until they get into the place that you like. So you can scale them down, scale this one down a bit until it fits nicely just exactly you want in the composition. And another thing you can do is you can lasso and select all of them and move them around as a group like so, so that can save some time for adjustments. So another thing that we need to do in order to make this a mask later on is we need to add a background layer to all of these words. So each word has its own layer. So all we need to do is click on a new layer to create a rectangle background. Now, let me just move this up to the upper left and let's drag it out so it fills up the entire frame. And now we can rename this just by double clicking and call it background. And we can make it a new color, we can make it black. Now you may be saying, well, it was black before. If I turn off this layer though, and I go to transparency grid, from the wrench tool, you can see that actually it's just a transparent background. The black is just the default of what Premiere Pro shows. So if I turn the background layer back on now, you can see that it has a true solid black background. Now, it doesn't matter what color it is because it's just going to be a mask later on and we're gonna fill in the text with video. So the next step is just to go through and type out all of the lyrics, just like I showed you, also including a background layer. So I've made another sequence where I've already done this. So here I have all the words typed out for the lyrics that we need to animate. 
Let me just unmute it. And this is where you select the graphics layer and you'll see under effect controls that each word has its own effects. It's its own layer. So we can animate the opacity and we can play around with masking tools to animate them in. So when the eye is spoken, that's when we want to make the opacity 100% from zero. So we can scrub through. So he says I right about here. So we're gonna toggle animation and then move one frame over and make this zero. We may have to make some adjustments just by moving it over. There we go. So I comes in. Now we need to do the same with C. So C comes in around right here. Toggle animation. Use the left arrow key to move one frame over and bring it to zero. So. There we go, I see is good. Now the, the is pretty quick. We'll just move over and toggle animation. Use the left arrow key to go back one frame and make it zero. Now way is kind of has a little bit more vibrato. It's a longer word. So we can animate it over time using the masking tool. So underneath way, we can go to the very end of the clip and what we can do is click on the four point polygon mask. And this is where you can move it to reveal the entire word. And we can move the points just like that. So now we see way fully. And we just wanna make sure that the line is straight so it looks better. And also make the feathering zero so it's more precise of a hard cut. And here, when way ends the word, and way around right here. You're just going to put the toggle animation on on the mask path and then we're going to scrub to when he starts to say way. Right about here. And we're going to click on mask and then just move this over. So that way over time way is animated on the screen like so. And we can play around with the timing once we play it back. Yeah, so it's almost there. We can make a few fine tune adjustments. So maybe move this over just a little bit. There we go. There we go. So for the next layer, all I did was make sure that it begins when he starts to say your. So we don't actually need to animate anything on your because it goes your and then all we need to do is animate looking in the sense I did a mask for looking as well. So all I did was click on create a four point polygon mask and then I adjusted it just like before to show the full word. And when he ends the word looking, I just hit the toggle animation and then I scrubbed when he started to say it. Right about here, click on the mask and animate it off. So from the beginning, looking pretty good. And you can always make some adjustments just like before. And for the last one, I also did a mask on me. So for me, you'll notice that it's vertically oriented. And the way I did this was I just rotated it 90 degrees so it wasn't in a horizontal fashion. So I did the same thing, but instead I did a four point polygon mask and I just made the polygon mask vertical this time. And I just animated it when he started to say me to when he ended me. So right around here, he ended that. So I'm just going to hit the toggle animation where he ended the word. Right here, he starts to say me. So I click on mask and animate it off. And now it's just like that. So then I did this to all of the graphic layers in the timeline and this is what it looks like. So what I'm going to do for these repeated lyrics is I'm just going to click on this lyric, hold the option key and drag it to duplicate it. So now you can see 
it repeats itself. And same with, I see the way that you're looking at me again. Right around here. I says, I, he says, I, so I'm just going to take all of these lyrics here and hit the option key and drag it over. So that way I don't have to do double the work and I can just extend out. Do you want me? So it's longer and I'll fill in this section with some stock video. So then the next step is to make a mask. Now to really illustrate this, just make sure to go to the wrench tool and turn on transparency grid. So make sure there's a check mark there. And now for this first set of lyrics, I see the way you're going to select the first one, hold shift and select all of the words and then click on mask with text and make sure invert is checked it as well. And you can see that now inside of the text, it is transparent. And this is where we can begin to add video, but let's just quickly go through and do that to all of the graphics here. So they're all masked and inverted. So now all of the text is inverted. Now we can add video beneath it. I'm going to click on the wrench and expand all the track. So that way you can see the video better. So for the first clip, I downloaded the stock video from Envato Elements. Let's see if I can find the underwater one. This one here with the fish, I just dragged and drop it underneath. And then I just cut it to end where this first graphic ends right about here. And so now you can see now there is video inside of the text. Now for this clip, I chose this Nemo fish. Just going to drag and drop the video clip here down underneath. And once again, the video is inside the text. So then you would just put all the video that you want underneath each video clip. And this is the sequence where I've done this already and you can see what it looks like. And a couple little tricks to play around with the visuals if you have a limited amount of video. For example, do you want me, rather than having the same color as the shot before, you can use the Lumetri color panel. You can go under curves and you can change this color. You can go to hue versus hue and select this color, like a purple color, and then you can change that color by moving this up or down. And you can make it wider so it includes more different color changes. So here I want it to be more bluish and you can move this over like so. There we go. So now it's a green color and it adds some contrast. And we can do the same here with the jellyfish with the beat. What we can do is have some fun at this beat point here. We can hit C to cut it and then we can reverse the video so it's like it's repeating. So you can control click on it, go to speed and duration and reverse it. And we can change the color here. So we can go to hue versus hue again, the dropper tool, select this, and then we can make it more of a orangey distorted color. So between these two points here, between it going from purple to orange and yellow, we can add a cool transition. Now in all of my videos, I use transitions from Film Impact. I've done a ton of videos on Film Impact and I love their transitions. And actually using my link below, you can get 45 days free, unlimited access to these before you decide to purchase them. But I guarantee you'll probably use these in most of your videos. So for this video, I used Film Impact lights and blurs. For this particular shot, I chose the ray transition. So I can drag and drop that between the two clips and then I can make it smaller just by pulling the handle in. And you can see it's a quick little flash, which adds a little bit more dynamism. I can do the same between these two Nemo shots, the clown fish shots, I keep calling it Nemo because of the film. But what we can do is put a different transition between them. We can try glow transition and you can drag and drop them here and make it smaller as well. So you can see the little glow happening. And of course you can add uh, different effect controls to these. If you click on that, you can go to effect controls and you can change the glow color, glow amount, etc. So these transitions are really, really good for music videos. And yeah, let's go ahead and play the final effect for you.
And then what music video do you want me to show you next? I've created a very cool rainbow atmospheric effect similar to Selena Gomez's music video, Rare, that I can show you. So if you want that, leave a comment below. If you want me to show you how to create a shake at the beats as seen in this video, similar to music videos like Justin Bieber's Yummy, you can see the video shake. If you want me to show you how to do this, leave a comment below. Or if there's another music video out there that you're like, oh, I wanna learn how to do that effect, be sure to leave a comment and also link Link to that video so I know what the effect is you're trying to create. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! I see the way